A supercomputer built in the United States was able to draw out processing speed of quintillion calculations per second for the first time in the history, allowing humans to set foot on an unexplored territory of computations and researches. The performance of this computer far exceeds its top seven tailing competitors combined. In this era of computers, where most of the population depends on some form of computer to get through the day, computing power has become one of the major resources with an ever-growing demand. Even the simplest computer demanding considerably extensive computing power, industrial computing demand seems to be getting exponential. In order to fill the outbreak-like demand, supercomputers with an enormous computing power developed. Frontier, a supercomputer built by HPE and currently installed in the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, is one such computer with the world's greatest computing power ever to exist. Frontier is the successor of Summit Supercomputer, with more than seven times its computing power. Consisting of 60 million components and 90 miles or 144.84 kilometers of length Ethernet cables, it expands to 74 HPE Cray EX cabinets with a total weight of approximately 3.6 tons. Built around HPE Cray EX235A architecture, it houses 9,408 processing nodes. Each node is an assembly of one AMD EPIC 64-core 2 GHz CPU, paired with four AMD Radeon MI250X GPUs, filling every 74 cabinets. The entire system contains 9,408 AMD CPUs and 37,888 AMD GPUs. The processing nodes spread around 74 cabinets are connected with HPE Cray Slingshot 11 networking fabric. Consisting of 74 cabinets of processing units, Frontier acquired 8,730,112 processing cores, which exert an enormous 1.102 exaflops of computing power. With 1.1 exaflop of massive computing power, it outclassed its leading competitor Fugaku, a supercomputer built in Japan, with a margin of more than twice the size of its computing power. A flop is the number of floating point operations per second, done by a computer. In the 2022 June, company Top 500 listed the world's fastest 500 supercomputers. With Frontier being the number one, and its leading competitor Fugaku, the former number one with 442 petaflops, dropped to the second place. To clarify the performance level of Frontier, let's look at an example. Imagine giving a person a pencil and saying that person to perform one calculation per second. Now imagine the whole 7.9 billion of Earth's population doing this task for four and a half years. That's a one quintillion calculations after four and a half years. The Frontier system can perform calculations of this amount in a second. At its peak, Frontier can exert 1.69 exaflops drawing 29 megawatts of power, giving the power efficiency of 52.23 gigaflops per watt. For the HPLAI, an AI performance test, Frontier broke the previously recorded two exaflops of max performance of Fugaku, with its 6.88 exaflops of unheard mixed precision performance. Supporting the Frontier, there is a storage subsystem with 700 petabytes of capacity and 75 terabytes of maximum throughput, developed based on the Cray Cluster Store E1000 storage system. At a regular working performance, Frontier generates 30 megawatts of heat, which is then absorbed by 22,712 liters of water circulated by four 350 horsepower water pumps. With its performance, Frontier became the world's first true exascale machine. As the system gets more and more optimized, it is predicted to exert two exaflops of sheer computing power in the coming years. Even though Frontier is the first listed exascale supercomputer, there is news about two exascale supercomputers exist in China, named Tianhe 3 and Oceanlight, that broke the exascale barrier years ago. There is news around the web about a supercomputer built by Microsoft and OpenAI, which is expected to be the fifth in the world ranking. Aside from large-scale supercomputers like these, a US-based company named Cerebras was able to manufacture a mini supercomputer specially developed for AI development. Click on this video for more intel on the system.